Well, thanks for joining us on the news tonight. The federal government says it's a way of false alarms being raised in some quarters, alleging discussions between the federal government of Nigeria and some foreign countries on the sighting of foreign military bases in the country. The Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohammed Idris, in a statement on Monday, asked the general public to disregard the story. He said government has not in any such discussion with any foreign country or considering any proposals for the establishment of foreign military bases in Nigeria. Mr. Idris adds that Nigerian government already enjoys foreign cooperation in addressing ongoing security challenges and that the president remains committed to deepening these partnerships with the goal of achieving the national security objectives of the renewed hope agenda. In a related development, the United States Shah Defense has clarified that the United States is not planning to build a military base in Nigeria, contrary to the story circulating in the media. In an exclusive interview with TVC News, Ambassador Green acknowledged that indeed the Najee Junta asked the U.S. to leave, but the U.S. has no current plan to build a base in Nigeria. Moyo Thomas reports. Nigeria enjoys a robust military cooperation with the United States. This has significantly helped Nigeria's counterterrorism fight. It has also, to a large extent, helped to stabilize not just Nigeria, but the West African region. The U.S. has promised to continue in this partnership, while reacting to the story making the rounds on plans to build a military base in Nigeria. I'm not aware of uh, any such conversation, uh, and... Uh, I'm not really sure whose purpose it serves to agitate on this point. So um, uh, we're, we will continue our very strong uh, security cooperation with the Nigerian security services and the Nigerian military and the Nigerian government. Uh, and uh, that will always be in a spirit of partnership and, uh, and uh, respect for each other. Also, on other partnerships, he says, the U.S. government spends about $1 billion on health and humanitarian assistance in Nigeria yearly. A, uh, a, an assistance agreement that covers a five-year period for about $2.5 billion, but we add money to it as it becomes available, and one of the areas where we've added a lot of money in recent years has been in the humanitarian assistance side. So that's, a, that's reached almost $300 million a year out of that billion. But it, it varies. You know, some years it's 900 million, sometimes it's 1.2 billion, but it's an awful lot. And we're very proud of the cooperation that we've pursued through it. A lot of the money comes, I'm sorry to go on, but we're, we're, a lot of the money comes through the uh, President's Emergency Program for AIDS Relief, PEPFAR. Uh, and that has, uh, we've accomplished great things together in terms of bringing us to the verge of epidemic control of HIV AIDS here. So, you know, we're making the investments. The U.S. affirms its continued commitment to improving the Nigeria-U.S. bilateral relations, including in movements of people. As a charge, the affair disclosed that over 87,000 visas were issued in 2023. Some have expressed concern over increased insecurity in the West African region as the U.S. military base is set to leave Niger. The belief that avoiding escalated attacks in the West African region may require more proactiveness from ECOWAS in order to ensure continued stability of the region. Muya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.